Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, it is time for another virtual campground tour. I've never really done a proper scooter tour of Ray Roberts Lake State Park Johnson Branch Unit. It was actually the first place I did a driving tour of a Texas State Park. Well, we're gonna get a little red. The high-speed mobility scooter, and I have the GoPro Hero 9 with a max lens mod, and I am working with a cordless mic. This is the second cordless mic. First one let me down. Hopefully this one won't. It's cue to music. The Johnson Branch is on the north side of Ray Roberts Lake. It is one of the newer Lake Ray, Rob Ray Roberts Lake State Park is one of the newer Texas state parks in the system. And it has some amenities that really I really, really like. And that makes this one of my top five Texas state park campgrounds. We're in the Cross Timbers region which means we've got lots of oaks intermingled with some junipers, otherwise known as the Eastern Ridge Cedar. They have a... We have a momentary pause in production. Is that a street legal vehicle? No, sir, but it is an ADA compliant mobility scooter. All right, well, you need to be careful driving here. Are you handicapped? I am. All right, all right, you're good. <laughs> you have a great day. Okay. Doing his job. Good thing we didn't have to argue about it. All right. Now, where was I? We were talking about being in the Cross Timbers region of the state of Texas. There are lots of wildlife in this park. I'm sorry, I'm still a little on the stuck back there with the lecture prepared to go. It is the end of March 2022. We're in the middle of a severe drought in this part of Texas. Well, in most of the state of Texas, but this part in particular. And our first turn is the trailhead and primitive camping area. Now there are Dorbra trails here, which that's the Dorbras, the Dallas Off-Road Association or something like that, the Bicycle Club, and they have about 20 miles of trails right out of, that come right out of this trailhead. There are also primitive tent camping sites down here that are out that way. If you're into tent, or if you're into biking, mountain biking, mountain bike riding, this is a great 
place to come and ride your mountain bike. If you are into mobility scooter riding, that right there is a handicap accessible trail. I will have a couple of videos on those trail rides if, if you enjoy the ride along videos. I really enjoy riding the, the smooth concrete trails out here at Johnson Branch State Park. It's so much better than some of the trails I've been on with Little Red. Little Red likes them too. shack is closed because we're in a burn ban but when we're not in a burn ban that's where you get your firewood now the camping loops there are two RV camping loops here at Johnson Branch and they are both bi-directional so for you folks that really like to get a look inside the campsite will just, just inhale the bug. I'll go slower than I normally do. So you can get a good look at the campsites. Oh, better yet, I'll loop it twice. I don't think there's a bad campsite in Johnson Branch. Not a lot of but a really cool lakeside, waterside campsites. There's a couple here that have pretty good access. Squirrel playing chicken with me. come up here to this last handicap site and turn around oh there's somebody in it all right now we're gonna turn it we'll go back the other way so you can see into the campsites on that side of the road. Well, that north wind is fierce. This would be a great, great campground to be a park host in, but I, I think it's kind of difficult to get one of those positions out here. That concrete path connects all of the camping loops. 
as well as the day use area. Uh, that's a compound right there. That's an interesting tent setup. A lot of space, a lot of floor space in that tent. All right, let's go to the next RV camping loop. double loop the next one as well because it is also bi-directional. I know y'all can't feel it, but, but boy, I sure do. All right, we're gonna go this way this time. There's a little spur over here. And I'm naturally going the wrong way on the spur. That's okay, we'll loop back through. Here is where the concrete path crosses the paved road. <laughs> Trudy Thunder. What are we doing? They have a government license plate. Maybe that's a park ranger. That nah, wouldn't be a U.S. government license plate. That'd be Texas. I don't know. The last time I was here, uh, that was in 2016. But this site right here, or is it this one? One of these two sites or both of those two sites have got access to a great little fishing cove, a great little place to fish. Right, so we'll turn around and that way you'll get a better, better look-see. Maybe they're, maybe they're looking at the, the ravens. Maybe that's why they keep stopping. I don't know. He didn't stop to look at the pink flamingo. All right, we're almost 
close to the turnaround point. And so we'll turn around right here, and go back the opposite direction. So you can see into those campfires. I'm really pleased with the site that I'm in. It's not as deep as I'd like, it's number 48. I'd like to be a little bit deeper, but you know, it'll, it'll do. There's a nice trail down to the water. The trail's not sufficient for me to get the boat down there assembled. I, I could get the boat down there deflate it and then put it all together by the water. All right, I said that there's a couple of pull through sites right there. But I said I'd go the opposite direction on this loop. Now we need to get these pull-through sites that I have bypassed. All right, that's the pull-throughs. We're going to now head down to the boat ramp in the Davis area. That concludes the RV camping loop portion of this video. If you're not interested in boat ramps and day use areas, you can end it right here. But if you want to see what else Johnson Branch has to offer, stay with me. I think you'll be impressed with the day use area. Stop sign? What, what stop sign? Breaking the law, breaking the law. They'll have to catch me. I am going to take you through one of the tent camping loops, tent camping areas. I'll take you to the parking lot for the one on my point and then we'll ride the concrete path and close out on the more accessible tent camping loop, the Willow Cove area.
They do have a nature center. It's not open this time of year. It's open during the summer. Great place to take the kids. There's also a kid's fish pond. Burning rubber on my finger. The Johnson Branch is on Ray Roberts Lake, which is one of the better, one of the preeminent fishing lakes in North Texas. Quite a few boat ramps to access Johnson to access Lake Ray Roberts, Ray Roberts Lake. All right, let us go see some more stuff. Here on our right is a is one of the primitive camping parking areas. So back down along the lake edge, there are, that's also a group RV site. There's not any power, but you can do group RVs and then you can actually tent camp back down in there. And that's accessible through this parking lot. And so you don't have to make a hike up to the big bathroom, there's a vault toilet. The cell service, uh, I have Verizon 5G, four bars of 5G. That campsite, I, I haven't looked down here at the day use area. Massive day use area. Lots of places to picnic and fish and swim. Cut across to the final tent camping area. We'll scoot on by the the beach. Big concrete building up here on the left. That is the shower and toilet facility, flush toilets for both the day use and the tent camping areas. the tent camping sites in Johnson Branch this one is my favorite that's 158 all right now 
that'll bring us back out here by the parking lot. Those guys know, are obviously checking out the turkey vulture. Hey, I sure appreciate y'all riding along with me. If you're still with me at this point, thank you so much. I most appreciate that. And if you enjoyed it, please click on the, the thumbs up button and share me across your social media because that really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. I, this is my thing. I produce a lot of these scooter tours. As a matter of fact, there will be th at least three that come out of this visit to Johnson Branch State Park. If you've already subscribed, thank you. I really appreciate that. I mean, that's why I'm out here doing this. It's for you because I, I didn't do it right the first time. So I came back for you. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, thank you. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?